everyone. Back for video number two in our Leap Into Fusion Mineral Paint series. I'll be doing 29 videos this month and this is number two. Today we're going to do something kind of crazy. We are going to paint shoes. I already painted one so you'll be able to see the finished product um, when I'm done with this one but in preparation for this to be painted all I did was give it a good cleaning. I actually used a Clorox wipe. Um, I don't typically like to use something that's going to leave any sort of residue if I, I don't use Clorox wipes when I'm painting furniture but in this case I wanted to make sure that it was really good and clean and then I just used a damp rag to wipe off any residue. So I got them nice and clean and made sure that they're dry and now I'm going to start painting. So today I'm using Fusion Mineral Paint Park Bench and this is a kind of a deep grass green. Oh and by the way I'm in my house today so if dogs are running in and out or my husband decides to come in and interrupt I'm it is what it is. Um, there goes one and here comes the other. Can you hear them panting? Anyway, let's get back to painting shoes. Now I never would have even thought of painting shoes until I started following the Fusion Mineral Paint um, Paint It Beautiful page on Facebook and Instagram. And I saw someone had painted a pair of leather boots and I was intrigued. <laughs> so I decided we're gonna give this a shot. Um, trying to find the best angle to show you how well this goes on. Now, I do wanna mention that there are some colors of Fusion Mineral Paint that do not apply as easily as others. Park Mench and French Eggshell are two of the colors that give amazing coverage. Um, I've had a little bit of difficulty with Renfrew Blue and Cranberry and Liberty Blue. They need a few extra coats. In my opinion, it's worth it, uh, the paint. The finished product is so beautiful when it's done that one extra coat is worth it to me. But I will say um, when we're talking about giving coverage and coats that it is important to do multiple thin coats instead of one thick coat. Here we go. See how well that's covering on faux leather. I would want to encourage you to make sure that you're taking your time and putting on a nice thin coat because if you put it on too thick, number one, you'll have brush marks because you'll want to keep having to keep move that moving that paint around. But number two, um, when you have multiple thin coats, if you do get a scratch in your surface, it'll only scratch through to the next layer of paint, which means you probably won't notice that scratch very much. Um, isn't that cool? I'm painting full leather shoes. <laughs> I never would have thought. So again, I'm using my um, full cart craft brushes. These are my favorites. I do like the other brushes. Um, Fusion offers the Stahl Meester brushes. And I personally have not fallen in love with them, but I have a tendency towards a little bit of arthritis in my hands and my hands get very sore holding them. I can't get a comfortable position. So it's not something that I've decided to carry yet because they are quite expensive. And I do have one and I haven't found that the um, coverage is any better than these full craft brushes. I typically use a much thicker full craft brush when I'm painting furniture because um, they have like a, I don't know, it's about a two inch wide one that I like a lot. See how the coverage we're getting? I'll give you a little close up here. Now these definitely need two coats. I'm thinking um, that I would also give them a nice coat of clear wax and Fusion does offer a clear wax. See, that's one cover, one layer of paint on that shoe. It's just crazy to me. 
So instead of having you sit and watch me paint some more, I'm gonna show you the other shoe, which I already painted. Look at this. It's got a little bit of a shine. I can see a few brush marks in it. Actually, the camera seems to catch brush marks, but in person, it looks pretty good. I'm really curious how well they're gonna hold up. Um, painted shoe. Oh, but the paint went on really well. This was two coats. It's looking like it's got full coverage. Actually, it looks better from further away. You can see. So the crazy things, you can paint just about everything with this paint. I found that um, mason jars paint really well and fabric. We're going to be doing one of all of those things. So I haven't found anything yet that I can't put a coat of fusion mineral paint on. Maybe a little prep is required, but I love this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. If you have any suggestions of things that you want me to paint or experiment with, send me a message. I'd love to um, try something that you're looking for. And remember, if you comment on every video and let me know what color I used in the video, remember I used Park Bench today, you will have a chance to win a $50 gift certificate for Fusion Mineral Paint from one of my booths, uh, either at Main Street Antiques in downtown Ishpeming or at the Northwest Antique Station on the corner of Wright and Presque Isle in Marquette. Thank you for watching and I can't wait till tomorrow.